the draft is coming up October 1st on SmackDown, October 4th on Raw. And, uh, you know, uh, this draft's going to happen, and then a month later they'll be fighting for brand supremacy at Survivor Series. But, Finn, I guess before we kind of get to the draft, um, is there anybody you want to see drafted from Raw to SmackDown or SmackDown to Raw? Who needs to who needs a fresh coat of, pa- coat of paint or a new change of scenery, do you think? Uh, well, first one, we've talked about this before on the podcast with Drew McIntyre. He, he desperately needs mm-hmm. to move to SmackDown. Unless, of course, Kenny, you know, this Big E title win is going to be the impetus for a Drew McIntyre heel turn. Because he was not allowed to challenge Lashley when Lashley was champion, right? Mm -hmm. That was the stipulation. That was the condition. Um, So now Big E's champ, Drew, could get back into the title picture. So the question I was asked earlier and didn't answer, who (laughs) might Big E... Uh, sorry, I was concentrating so much on my answer that I've completely missed the question. I'm going to answer it now. <laughs> Who might Big E face in Saudi Arabia? Could it be Drew McIntyre? What do you think? It could, yeah. I mean, that that you know, now Big E can actually now Drew can face somebody for the title because he's not actually not the champ. So it could be Big E and Drew. Um, I mean, Drew as a heel would be pretty exciting. He's faced everybody on Raw. Um, it feels yeah. like if he doesn't go to SmackDown they're essentially telling us he's going to become a heel at some point soon. Yeah, definitely. And I think he would be, I think he would be, the, I'm not saying the perfect first challenger, maybe actually the perfect second challenger. Because mm-hmm. Big E maybe needs to get an, you know, an easy win under his belt at Extreme Rules. Presumably he will be defending the belt against someone there. And maybe Drew would be the perfect opponent for him, say, at Survivor Series at one of the bigger shows. Um, and, you know, they could do something at the Saudi show, at Crown Jewel do like a non-finish there, like a brawl to the back. I think they could get away with that. So, um, yeah, if Drew's not going to smack down, then absolutely he needs to turn heel. I think Jeff Hardy needs to needs to move uh, to smack down. Uh, Ricochet is another one who I think needs to move from Raw to smack down and just do nothing with him at all on Raw. Maybe they'll do nothing with him at all on SmackDown. But, I mean, you never know. I mean, they might see more in him on SmackDown. Just don't book him against Brock Lesnar. Never again, never again. Well, you know, Kevin Owens is someone who we talked about last week about yeah. uh, on the podcast about you know Kevin Owens' contract coming up. They sent him to Raw, maybe give him a good few months booking on Raw. Maybe that's a way to convince him to stay um, because he's faced yeah. everybody on SmackDown. He's done everything. So I'd like to see Kevin Owens move. I think he'd be a good choice to to move. Um, I was yeah. going to see if we could move Alexa Bliss to like Impact or something, but I, I don't think that's <laughs> within the realms of what we're allowed to do. Main event or 205 Live, maybe. Well, she would fit. She's under 205. There you go. She could get in there. Um, in terms of the women, I mean, the, every, I mean, maybe Sasha Banks could move to Raw because she's already faced Bianca Belair. Um, I mean, it feels like Sasha's kind of... If she doesn't face Bianca or Becky, who is she going to face? Charlotte needs a fresh yeah. challenger. They've not done yes. Charlotte and Sasha in years. So maybe they can revisit yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll second that. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really good idea. Um. Yeah, and the women's division on Raw, oh my God, that needs some assistance right now. That needs some some people to ride in on, on the white chargers to save the day. Uh, we need new women's tag team champions desperately. T- sorry, Tamina and Natalia, they just... <laughs> Are they not doing it for you, Finn? They just need to depart. I mean, those matches on Raw this week, Tamina versus Nikki Ash, I, th- I believe the finish was a mess. And then uh, Natalia versus Rhea Ripley, they just never ended. It went <laughs> on and on. So, I mean, to me, it's time for new tag team champions. Not sure what Tamina can do. I really feel like Tamina and Natalia, the, the run in the ring is over. Um, I mean, she's had a good run, Natalia. She's been there, what, it's about 11 years now, I think it is? I think it's longer. I think she's been there since, like, 2007. She got signed developmental about 14 years ago. Wow. Right, but certainly more than that. I mean, the look on your face there, Finn, tells us everything we need to know. <laughs> Just the, oh God, it's been that long. It's like you found I mean, out you've been married to someone like way longer than you thought you had. Um, well, that makes me feel better about recommending that she, you know, just you know, step off, you know, just turn it in. Yeah. Entire, Hand in the Hand in your belt. Well, you know, Flet- Fletcher in the chat there had mentioned that, you know, Charlotte, you know, we know that she's got ties to Andrade and AEW or whatever. So, you know, yeah. if, if, I, if I'm WWE, I want to be booking the Raw Women's Division or whatever division Charlotte's in as an exciting yeah. prospect for her. Because 
her and Alexa, like, what can she do with that to me? I know this week that you were saying the crowd was a little bit more into it, but, you know, yeah. give Sh Charlotte Flair is, I know some people don't like her, but, like, she's an easy person to book. She can have good matches. Yes. She can. She's a good heel. There's loads of baby faces you could put up against her. Um, yeah. So that's a good point, actually. I think that they should consider, you know, Charlotte because she's kind of done it all. So you need to give her fresh stuff to do, make things a bit more exciting for her. Absolutely, yeah. They just need some. So it just feels to me like the women's scene on Raw right now. I mean, you can tell we're coming up to a draft. It just feels like they've exhausted the well of ideas. I mean, let's face it, there wasn't much water in there in the first place, but it's now completely bone dry. And uh, yeah, this Extreme Rules match with Alexa Bliss can't end soon enough and bring on the draft and, you know, give, give you know, bring in some reinforcements for Charlotte Flair. She desperately needs them. 